The crypto asset market crash continued on Tuesday, with Bitcoin, BTC, falling to as low as 20 US dollars, 800 before trimming some of its losses. The significant sell-off came as the market braces for the possibility of an unusual 75 basis point rate hike from the US Federal Reserve, Fed, this Wednesday. At 14.47 UTC, Bitcoin stood at 22 US dollars, 162, down 5% in the past 24 hours and down close to 30% in the past 7 days. At the same time, Ethereum, ETH, traded at 1 US dollar, 203, down 1% for the day and 35% for the week. The losses come as the probability of a 75 basis point rate increase by the Fed has increased since Monday, data from the derivatives exchange CME Group shows. From a probability of 21.7% on Monday, there is now a 91% probability that the Fed will increase rates by 75 basis points at its ongoing meeting that ends on Wednesday this week, judging from the CME Fed Watch tool. Major investment banks such as Barclays and Jefferies are also saying that a 75 basis point hike is likely following last week's higher than expected inflation report, per the Wall Street Journal. Commenting on the market from a more crypto-focused perspective, former BitMEX CEO Arthur Hayes wrote today that the 20 US dollars OOO level for BTC and 1 US dollar OOO for ETH will be critical. If these levels break, massive sell pressure can be expected in spot markets as dealers hedge themselves, Hayes said, warning that this could even cause some unhedged over the counter dealers to go belly up. Earlier in June, he estimated that 25 US dollars OOO to 27 US dollars OOO is the bottom of this bit. And although the sell-off in crypto has been brutal, with crypto falling more than stocks in June, Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz is now more bearish on stocks than on crypto, Bloomberg reported. Speaking at the Morgan Stanley Financials Conference, Novogratz reportedly said that he believes BTC and ETH are much closer to the bottom than stocks, which he said could fall another 15% to 20%. Still, he also stressed that investors should proceed with caution. Until I see the Fed flinch, until I really think. OK the economy is so bad, and the Fed is going to have to stop hiking and even think about cutting, I don't think it is time to really deploy lots of capital," Novogratz was quoted.